Let's start off with um, just tell me a little bit of the background of your new company. Uh, so Damon and I have been talking for about the last five or six years, swapping notes, we've been in exactly the same situation, facing exactly the same challenges, uh, same opportunities, and just sharing notes has been a real pleasure. Uh, we weren't competing in any way, we just really trying to do the best thing for, for both of our projects. And uh, it was sort of a, an obvious thing, really, that uh, you know, given the opportunity of uh, Damon finishing with Day, uh, Urban Surf, uh, I already started sort of um, on the sort of consultancy journey and uh, got in touch, and it was felt like an, an obvious opportunity. So, yeah, I think um, you know, for me, my interest has always been in working at an array of different projects and different experiences. Anything related to the customer sort of space, I love. Combining with surfing and all the adventure sports and activities now, it's, it's a great opportunity for us, you know. And working in different markets with different nationalities, that's a real thrill as well, you know. And that's something that you know urban surf provides some great grounding for. But Australia is one market, you know. We're just in a whole bunch of different markets. For sure. Can you discuss a little bit about uh, what you're working on so far? Uh, well, it's very early days. I've started uh, on the Bahrain project and uh, helping helping them, um, and uh, talking to, uh, working with about four or five other surf park developers in helping shape their whole journey right through from concept through to how do they get it up and operating and open, and all of the steps between that. I think that Damon and I are in a sort of unique position that you know we've done that whole journey all the way through. And, and not many people have, and we really want to share that, that sort of learning, and, and hopefully shortcut people's sort of uh, journey towards opening their own surf parks and getting them working properly. Um, and I think we can we can help in a lot of ways along that journey to to help to help things. Yeah, look, we've been approached by a few different types of businesses, not just surfing. You know, this adventure sports and the space we were talking about. Um, yeah, lots of new projects on the go. Um, I'm moving back to Dubai with the family. I was there for 10 years prior to Urban Surf. Great proximity to a lot of things that are happening in the world, which is really exciting. You know, So I think that just opens up the doors to be able to participate in all of those, as, as Greg said. Cool. Um, and then I guess just real quick, uh, one piece of advice you would give someone who's looking to develop a surf park. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I, I think it's uh, don't give up is probably the, uh, the biggest thing. It, it requires a lot of resilience and there are gonna be a lot of knockbacks and it takes time. But uh, you know, have that, have that sort of end goal clear in your mind, but recognize there will be a whole load of things and blocks along the way that you've gotta find your way around. So you've gotta be resilient. Yeah, tenacity, resilience, a little bit crazy, I think, is a big part of the secret sauce that makes it up. But the people around you as well. You know, I look at the Urban Surf journey and the crew that what we went through together and the things that Craig and I shared. People are what, what really counts, you know. So I think that's the most important thing for me. Awesome.